You alright guys? It's that time of year again. Shallot pickling. Time to pickle the shallots. And I'm not going to do a stupid Satan shallot like I did three years ago. Still got some of them left actually. I'll tell you what, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the outtake at the end of me eating one. <laughs> I still laugh at it now, still cringe. <laughs> Well, first task, peeling. Now, I'm gonna try two different methods of peeling. I've got two bowls, same size, and I've got some uh, shallots. These are, they're mostly my own, a mix of um, uh, aristocrat and Hatib de Nior. So I'm gonna do 50-50. So I'll tell you what as well, I'll have a, hang on. Right, one lot I'm going to peel and one lot I'm going to um, let soak in boiling water for two minutes and rinse with cold water for a couple of minutes so they, so they don't cook and then see if the skins do actually come off easier. Back with the kettle. And by the magic of cinematography, one kettle, hot water. Ooh, they've gone all yellow. Right, let's leave that for a couple of minutes. Uh, well, I might as well start on these, I suppose. There we are, and I've got a bowl for the rubbish. There we go, then. What I'm going to try not to do is take too much of the shallot off because they, uh, they can go a bit mushy. Yeah. Oh, too bad. I tell you what, it's going to be easier not, to, easier not to use a bowl and sweep up later, I reckon. Just watching the bubbles come out of those lot, sorry. <laughs> right. Last year I did these, I, I managed to cut the base a bit and use it to peel the air. Turns out that one's rotten anyway. Good start. Need a bowl to put the uh, the ones I processed in, don't I? That's better. Come off. Not me. It's not me. Like I said before, ambulance down the ambulance, hospital down the road. Well, I tell you what, at this rate, it's going to hopefully these boiled ones work a bit better. The way around this is to peel the shallots as you uh, take them out of the ground. Peel the skins are nice and soft then. I'm going to stink later. Right, it's going to get a bowl, and I think while I'm in there, I'm going to drain these. They should be. Yeah, right. Back in a sec. All right, here we are, they're all drained. And I'm going to use the, the colander as the storage thingy. There we are. Don't need that. Yeah, we do. Let's have a quick go at a couple of these then. Yeah. That's easier. I'm going to go and do the rest in water. Yeah, let's go get the kettle back on. In fact, I'll do them all again, I think. Well, that's better. Oh, total change of tack on this. I've done them in the past where they, uh, they weren't dry, but obviously not this time, not to be. So what I'm doing, I'm leaving them in the water as well, because when I did those few just now, the, uh, the inner skins were still dry, so I'm just gonna leave them there. It's not gonna harm. Right, last couple. Taking just over a quarter of an hour, that's all, too bad. Easing the skins off a little bit. And it did get easier as I went on as the um, 
shallots got wetter if you like and scratching the surface helps a little bit as well and when you think is it worth it for that oh, don't forget that's one more shallot in your jar and my hands are all uh, fingers are all wrinkly and uh, Digwell's interesting fact for you wrinkly fingers when wet are a natural phenomenon phenomenon for um, smooth palm mammals increases the surface area of the fingertips and helps them to grip things there we are see that so you just thought it was where the skin was stretching for no reason whatsoever <laughs> right let's go rinse these and then I'll be back mm, that's not good that's the air ambulance circling around oh dear anyway so here we have the shallots I'm just going to tip this water out of here give them a quick rinse what I do now is going to pour them in this bowl and then we got some salt this just happens to be some old Himalayan pink salt I'm just going to put about like, two tablespoons on the top what are you a rough guess don't worry about it because the salt will be washed off it doesn't get soaked into the shallots and all we're doing now is leaving that overnight give it a go and you see I'll show you so there we are all covered in salt leave that overnight and that draws out all the moisture so that's me for now then I'll cover that might as well leave it in the greenhouse <laughs> yeah all right guys here we are 24 hours on and I'm just going to cover this because it's spitting with rain I don't want the sugar to get wet um shallots nicely what do you call it de-moisturized I don't know let me see you see that you can see how much water is there so anyway all that moisture is now not in the shallots so I'm just going to go and uh, strain these very quickly give them a good rinse in get, get the salt off and then I'm going to show you something a bit different right just before we uh, rinse these off I just want to show you how much is in here really if I can can be a bit awkward but <laughs> yeah a bit awkward anyway all that is now not in the shallots and it will keep them nice and crunchy yeah it's raining a bit harder now right let's get rid of that they've had a good rinse in but what I'm going to do is something a little bit different and I've seen it in a, a few other recipes to get the extra crunch and what you do I'll still leave that covered is you do this again with the instead of using salt you use sugar so I'm going to use a bit of sugar I'm just going to leave this for a couple of hours so just sprinkling with sugar doesn't matter how much you use because once again you're going to rinse it off and the theory being the sugar will draw out more moisture or a different moisture if that makes sense so we'll see, I mean it's bone dry in there at the moment there we are, and then cover with sugar and I'll just leave those in the greenhouse a pair of hours, about two or three hours went to the ivory poacher earlier on came back with all my teeth <laughs> just the annual checkup. up well, it says annual now, it used to be six monthly, now it's annual anyway, what you do is uh, make up the pickling brine, the pickling liquor and normally I'd make up my own mix of uh, herbs and spices but what I'm going to do this time just to show you how easy it is to do pickled shallots I'm going to use a proprietary pickling spice this one's by Bart Bart and it says uh, da, 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 warming aromatic and piquant perfect for pickled onions there we are then ingredients coriander seeds yellow mustard seeds crushed red chilies ginger bay leaves allspice black peppercorns and cassia so I don't know how much do you reckon tablespoon yeah a few of everything yep and because I like mustard seeds I'm going to put a few in here extra few uh, forever chemicals yeah, a few in there and I'll put a few more in later 
Um, about 50 gram of sugar. I mean, you've seen how many shallots I've got. I've probably got enough for one big jar there, so I ain't gonna put too much in actually. Maybe just a couple of tablespoons after. So, didn't need that, did I? Sugar. Right, and I'm using um, distilled pickle and vinegar. Pickle and vinegar is best, it's 6%. Means they'll keep longer. And this is distilled, so it's clear. I'm gonna try and open it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get it cooking. What we're going to do is bring it all to the boil. I'll use all of this. If I haven't got enough, I'll just put some uh, normal malt vinegar in. Top it up. I'm going to bring it to the boil to get the spices to infuse. Hello. We're going to go in recycling. We're going to put the lid. One more thing we've forgotten, and I shall just reach behind me for that, I reckon. Yeah. Is it behind me or is it over there? It might be over there. Oh, it's behind me. Can not get much fresher than that? Two basket of fire chilies. All I'm going to do is take the tops off, break them in half, and I'll taste the liquor before we jar it all up and uh, see if I need to add more or not. I don't want them to be stupidly hot, I just want a, you know, decent taste. So let's get that boiling. Once it's boiled, turn off the heat and leave it. Oh, 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 I forgot these. A couple of bay leaves, a couple of bay leaves. Well, there we are then, that's boiling. I'm going to turn it down a bit before it goes over the top, actually. Love the speed that these uh, induction hobs react. So I'm going to turn that right off now. I'm going to leave that now, leave it soaking, and leave it for the same length of time as I'm leaving the sugar on the shallots. So I'm back in a pair of hours. Well, that is surprising. Here we are. Here we are. Um, yeah, just over three hours later. And there is as much, if not more, water in there than there was from the onions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what, yeah, uh, yeah, do it this way. Oh. See if we can see. I'll do, I can, uh, I can rinse them in that as well then. Oh. Maybe a bit less, maybe a bit less. Look at that. So, here's a story. In future, double rinse, uh, double soak them. I wonder if mixing salt and sugar together would be a bit quicker. And the uh, the liquor has ooh, been going for the same amount of time. Now I'm going to quick, quickly. I ain't got a spoon. We just quick, quick um. Yeah, it's got a little. Yeah, that's just about right actually. So I'm not going to put any chilies into the jars. And the jars, in case you're worried, they have been in the oven for 40 minutes at 125 Celsius with water in them. So the water is nearly finished boiling off now. So I'd go and turn the oven off, bring it all out, and we can do the jarring up. Make sure I don't spill these. I'm wondering if I've got... Yeah, I've got enough shallots. I wonder if I've got... Sorry. I need more shallots, that's what I was going to... Right, that's still hot, but it doesn't matter about being hot for this one because we put these in before we put the liquor in. So some people pat them dry, I'm not going to bother because uh, I can't be bothered. It's only what be easier to do, let's get rid of that. There we are. Funny how I do shallots, it's different every time. You may look at my old recipes and think, he didn't do that last time. Well, if he did the same every time, you might as well just go to McDonald's, don't you? You know what I mean? If you always want the same. Tell you what, though, before we pack up, I will tell you that on one of them, uh, one of the videos, I'll put a card up. i work this out. Hang on, I'm facing that way. I'll put the card there for you at the end, on the end screen. Um, 
how I've um, I peeled the shallots on one of them. I peeled them when they were basically fresh out the ground and it was so much easier. And the shallots are very nice. They're the ones that are, um, they're called, that shallot. <laughs> oh, the long winter nights just fly by in my house, giving them names. You want to see what this one's called? These are James Bond shallots. Stephen shallots. Right. So they're in. Ah. Hope we've got enough, hopefully we've got enough liquor now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Almost like I planned it. <laughs> there we are then. That's it. One jar of Stephen Shawatch. Right, just a label to go on now. Stephen's a Shawatch. Shake and not stir. There we go. I tell you what, I do like this distilled pickling vinegar. You can, you can see what's inside the jar. <laughs> We'll get this one indoors before it rains again. It's been spitting on and off all day, so I've been nipping in and out making a video for you. Such is my devotion to the cause, you know. Right, sugary water. What would that taste like? Sugary onion, onion water. Ah! Yeah. Taste of sugary onions. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, I wish I had done that. Hmm. Right. Oh. God, heck. that is vile. <laughs> I shan't be doing that again. Live and learn. Oh. Well, let's get some of this indoors. Get the label. Done. Doing a whole one. Still crunchy. Hmm. That was Satan, Satan shut up. <coughs> oh, it's hot. Mmm. Oh, sorry, guys. Bloody <sighs> hell. I'll save that for later. I'll save you lot for work. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> well, there you are, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Just a quick pickled shallots uh, video. I seem to do one every year, and it's different every time. Don't want to be the same. That'd be boring, wouldn't it? Look after yourselves, stay safe out there, and I will catch you on the next one.